everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and this week I am focusing on the Falling for Leaves bundle from the 2018 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. It's a really fun fall set, some really beautiful intricate leaves with some great sentiments. This is a project that I made during my Facebook Live on October the 5th, and it's a little treat pouch. As you can see, it's not flat, and the belly band actually slides off. And inside is one of these delicious little treats I found at World Market. Now I have to say, since then, I've gone back and they've been a little tricky to find. Um, however, other things will fit in here. You can see this is a nice size for um, maybe the little Halloween candies or a couple of tea bags. Some chai tea would be nice. So even if you can't find the little uh, chai tea biscuits from World Market, you can put lots of other things in here. All right, well, let's get started. I'm going to move my bundle out of the way. By the way, the stamps that I'm using are the Large Detailed Leaf and the Harvest of Thanks Sentiment. Now you're going to need your Simply Scored and a piece of soft suede that measures seven by seven. And by the way, this um, project is over on my blog. I did it on Facebook Live, like I mentioned, and I always do a PDF for my projects during that Facebook Friday. So you can find this PDF under the last photo on that post, and you'll see down at the bottom it has measurements um, in all the products that I use. So don't feel like you have to write it all down. All right, so we have a seven by seven square. We're going to score one side at two and one at five and a fourth. Then turn it and do one and five eighths, one and seven eighths, and six and a fourth. Now, by the way, this project was inspired by my friend Angie Judah. She did a great little project like this. I uh, made a couple of changes just so that I can have a little more wiggle room up at the top. So thanks, Ange, for the idea. All right, now we're going to cut some of these squares out. We're going to start down here and cut out the bottom two rectangles. And you want to use a good pair of scissors here. And I like to use my big scissors when I'm cutting out pieces. Now here we've got two lines, but we're actually going to cut out both segments there on that side, okay? So really what we're doing is cutting out the four corners. I think that this little treat pouch would be so fun for all the different holidays, or even just during the spring, maybe a, a fun little treat for your friends. All right, so that's the way it looks. You wanna take your bone folder and really burnish those lines. Now these up here at the top are pretty close together. Um, so get that bone folder and do the first one and then carefully fold that one and burnish that that way. See how it's gonna give us a little more room when we close that up. All right, now we wanna round the corners. This is the detailed trio punch and this one right here is our corner rounder. So actually, I'm not gonna do the sides, I'm gonna do the top flap and the bottom flap. You could do the side flaps if you wanted to. Um, now this is where it gets tricky down here. To get this in here, I'm actually gonna close this side and get it in there. It's got these little grooves here. You wanna make sure that you're getting it in the right place. Then do the next one and it will fit folded over like that. And there we go. All right, so it's kind of like a little, I always refer back to the report card envelopes. If you remember when we were kids and even now sometimes too, um, there are these little, uh, they have this little flap that, that goes over and it reminds me of the report cards. All right, tear and tape. One um, side is uh, longer than the other, so it will overlap. Your tear and tape will help you keep this together and be nice and sturdy and won't pop open. And so now we're gonna put a little bit of tear and tape down here. Oh, got a little fuzz there. And close it just like that. Now I made something very similar to this this month for my stamp club. I haven't shown them yet, um, but you'll see it on my blog here in a couple of weeks. It's very similar. All right, I'm gonna take that shortbread cookie and slide it in and then fold that over. So that's how it looks, just a little pouch. Now I went to my DSP stacks um, and I pulled out the Mango Melody Brights DSP, and I cut two strips that are one inch, okay, fast fuse, 
one inch by six inches. Now it's gonna be too long, we're gonna trim it down, but that's okay, that way you just have to trim it one time. All right, I'm gonna take it and wrap it around like this, and it's gonna overlap. You can see how you can shorten that if you'd like. But I'm just gonna put some adhesive right there. And see, I'm adhering it to itself, end over end, so that it'll slide off. We don't want to adhere it to the pouch because then that would make it hard to open. So there we've got that. And you can see here my seam, but that's okay. We're going to cover it up. All right, let's do some stamping. Like I said, we're using this large, beautifully detailed um, leaf. And you can tell by mine, I have used it a ton. The photopolymers will start to stain red if you use them a bunch. And I think it's just a sign that I use my stamps a lot. It doesn't bother me. All right, pumpkin pie ink on a pumpkin pie stitched square. This was cut um, with the largest stitched shape square framelits. It's a mouthful. And I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella. This leaf could take you a long time to color. Um, however, I have just started kind of filling it in with some shimmer. And that way, if I wanna mass produce these, it's not going to take me a week to color them all in. So your Wink of Stella will just offer some fun kind of variation on a monochromatic leaf. And I'm just doing random little segments, some of the inside parts. The Wink of Stella is one of my favorite tools because it's glittery and shimmery and without getting you all glittery and shimmery. Sometimes when we use all that glitter and those embossing powders, we end up a mess, but this one won't do that to you. All right, I have also pre-cut a scallop square. This is the largest layering square framelit. It fits around this stitched square perfectly, just like that. And then I am going to get the dimensionals to put on here, but first we have to add, of course, a bow. This is the braided linen trim that is new in the holiday catalog also. It's like our linen thread, except it's thicker. And it pulls apart and it's kind of fun. All right, so I'm just gonna tie it around that belly band, like that. Straighten it out, trim it. And then we are almost done. We're gonna put this right here in the center. And because that belly band slides off, we're actually going to just put our dimensionals here on over that, that twine, just like that. Now we can't leave it naked without a sentiment. So let's add this, this Harvest of Thanks sentiment. This is just a strip of Whisper White. It's three fourths three fourths of an inch by about four inches. All right, now my sentiment stamp is right here. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. All right, soft suede ink right in the center. And then I'm gonna use my um, tag, Taylor Tag Punch to just quickly put some V's in this. Now, if you have the triple banner punch, you can also do that. You just need to make your paper a little bit longer because the triple uh, banner punch cuts a little more off than on the ends. All right, right in the middle and you're done. Wouldn't those be fun treats? You could put them in the teacher's mailboxes at school. You could hand them out at the office or maybe a girl's night, a fun, fun little friendship gift. All right, if you want all the details, make sure you hop back to my blog. Um, there's a description here in the YouTube, com in the description, and you'll find two other projects featuring this bundle as well as that PDF with those measurements and supplies that you'll need. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.